Okay, there's fog. God damn it, there's fog. Princess Erica of Reness. Accept your fate. You have nowhere to flee. What? Who are you? And where... Where did you come from? You're as beautiful as I heard, and you're e even wearing your bracelet. I suppose we should begin there. Would you surrender your lovely little trinket? That is absolutely whatever sacred stone thing you're looking for. My bracelet? Why do you want it? His majesty desires it. That is reason enough. Once I present it to him, you will make me a general and I will be famous. Come hand it over, do it quickly, and I'll leave you alive. Princess Erica, you will do no such thing? Of course not. A beast will save you, give you pain. You came all this way to aid Princess Erica. Prince it I almost said princess. <gasps> oh saying it for Erica and say Prince and E Oh Prince Ephraim, have you not? And you cannot a child Take your weapons, take them off and hand them over. Surrender our weapons will be tantamount to suicide. You demand too much of us. I see years of peace and idleness have not dulled your wits. It's the wall of the not knit peace and idleness have not dulled the wits of all Renee's nights. Okay. Renee's is nice, actually. Um, well, then my house has no more use in me, does she? Ah, oh, such a waste. Okay, I'm gonna skip over the wall again. He has two! A mother and daughter. Our older sister and daughter. Our not yeah, older sister and younger sister. Good lord. Oh my brain. It's early. If you must curse someone, curse your dear princess. Cry, scream. Are we going? Are we gonna get eaten? We're gonna be fine. Someone will rescue us. They literally just stuck them by some mountains. Nah, that's nothing. Nah, there could still be something. Let's move stuff. We have to save that girl. P, ease your highness. This is a trap. The whole area is covered in a thick fog. We are virtually blind. There are certain to be enemy soldiers poised to attack. I know we must hurry nonetheless. Nevertheless, we cannot abandon these people while any hope remains. Hey, it's times like these, you need someone like me around to give a hand. People in my profession have sharp eyes. For our enemies, I'll spot them. Don't worry. And that's it. Well then, Cole, please lead the way. Let's see moving. He is the worst one to lead the way. His defense is shit. <gasps> oh. Fog limits remains a vision and makes a fellow dream come more enemy. Troops are hiding. You don't want to run into enemies of a pair, so proceed with caution. Also remember, thieves have better ranges of vision than other units, so they make for good scouts. If you're on a foggy map, be sure to include thieves in your party. If you don't have thieves, other units can send their vision by using, vision by using torches. So that's why there were torches in the shop. Seeing is vital in combat. So use thieves and torches and other items to gain the upper hand. I can't afford torches. <laughs> Ugh. Do I have any torches? Just in my supply somewhere? Okay. No. Okay. Um. <sighs> Natasha, I'm meaning for you. Okay. Let's just. Okay, thank you. Swipe all this. 
probably gonna be good for vision scanning. So I did my badass. Why do you have a secret book? What the hell is a secret book? But that's all probably help me get those people out. There, what are your stats? Strength, defense 5, luck, speed, and skills. You're probably gonna do fairly well also. I like her design. Um, Gillian, because you're a tank. Sia. This is the support system I like. It's not good, it's hard to deal with, and it's really annoying in some cases. But this is the kind of support system that I prefer. And I hope they go back to it, at least to some degree, in the next three houses game. This support system is limited to actual characters of importance to that character. I do not like support systems where everyone has some little conversation. It was cute in Awakening, but it also has the issue of a lot of conversations end up being muddled and stupid, barely developmental, and actually have little to no impact act to the story as a whole. Or to give any deeper feelings just because it is basically it is more of a player choice but I also think that makes the story part of it lazier and the development of the characters lazier because it needs to be something generic enough that anyone can latch onto it that way there's nothing canon so it can be player choice to me, that's lazy, and it annoys me just because it downgrades the character development. So, like, Seth has these. These are people. People he obviously has larger relationships with. Erica is one of them. Them. For obvious reasons. So is Franz. Uh, uh. So you see that they have significant people in the bed they actually care to talk to. Garcia has Ross. Ross is at the top of his list. It's his son. Makes sense. Coleman's naming at the top. Joshua has Natasha at the top. Uh, I'm naming as well. So, like these make sense. Because you also see in the story they came together. Ross and Garcia are father and son. They obviously have a support because they know each other. I'm sorry, I'm getting on a little bit of rant. I just really <laughs> Like I said, it was cute in Awakening, but when they started doing it in Fates, or at least when I, what little I played of Fates, it was just so muddled and dumb, and I got way more annoyed with it because it seemed like they were one, throwing it in 
because it was popular in fate and to go in that road just so they didn't have to actually develop the characters. And that may be wrong, it just, it seems like lazy character development to me. Just because it has to be more broad, so in, they're still putting in the work, but because it's more broad, it loses a lot of impact and it loses a lot of actual interest for me. So. It's a little tiring, but it's honest, and I hope they go back to it with three houses a little bit of the older style because. To me, it's dumb that every character should give a shit about every character. Cause that makes the least sense. Okay, you're gonna move up just a tiny, tiny bit, and look at that, there's some people. Put you here. Here. So here's the Cats 22 of Fog Maps. You see in a radius around your character, so keeping my characters bunched together like this is potentially a bad idea. <laughs> because, hey! They could just end up. Oh, wow, you are stronger than I thought you were. Or these units are a lot weaker than I thought they were. But having characters bunched up like this limits the radius a little bit more. Don't care, this is how I tend to play these games. Safety in numbers. Also, making sure to utilize all these little points. That everyone standing on rough terrain is slightly beneficial. Sit in the town for a bit. Okay. to get a little bit more. Oh, you're doing 13 damage. Okay, so I'm fairly well leveled. Or these are a fairly low leveled group. Not sure which. Maybe a little bit both. I didn't think you would attack her. And I'm not happy that you did. And I need her to visit that town. And just go ahead and die. Seth is my Orson. Okay, Eric is right. But Orson, I'm pretty sure, is a traitor. And I'm pretty sure Eric is. Seth is never going to be that. Even bringing out the flux assholes. Good job. Just because I can't see them doesn't mean they aren't there. Can you kill? No. You're slightly short. Not using that. And steel sword. Oh shit! Seven damage. I forgot if I was hitting these things in one hit, count them. Not two. She got a level though. She got a level. So 
Seth can tank most of it, so I'm not too concerned about throwing him in the fire. Question, why did you attack my last user? Besides the fact that she can almost never hit anything. I know she just hit that time, but I'm fairly certain she's had a very low hit rate from me. Wait, Natasha, perfect. You heal, 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 heal. Staff, heal. Not mend. Mend have a higher amount of heal. Yay, your speed went up. Yay. Move and bit it. Because here's the thing that I... Granted, you've probably seen it, but... Enemies can move in the fog. So I don't want any of them looping around behind me. And then being screwed. Frogs. Doing very well, Frogs, actually. Good lord! Leave him alone! <laughs> oh god, you have a poison axe, too. I'm so glad you dodged that. Poison was a thing. Okay, Seth, so take him out. That's not too bad. There they are. There are the guys I was waiting for. And kind of expecting to show up. Oh my god, Franz is being pulled. <laughs> this is so bad. Who the hell is she? That is a special. Oh, good. Franz on a healing spot. What kind of... Ah, oh, that's the troubadour. The healer on the freaking horse. Bullshit. Good lord. Okay. You, you're gonna be here. Garcia, you're gonna come up where Joshua is. 